do. So tell me, what is different that you're working on or different about the industry today that you guys are working on that could have an effect for us moving forward? Well, you know what comes to mind when you ask that, David? What's that? Is, you know, I think about my personal journey. And I think back to when, you know, there were coaches in this industry that were writing letters telling all of their coaching clients to stay off of Facebook. Hmm. I think about, you know, how there really weren't a lot of people wearing red shoes and ten tennis shoes on stage. It was more three piece suits. Like you look great. You know what I mean? Like you look great. I'm not knocking you, but that's not, me. that's not me. No, you know? I know that. I, so I, like, I, I kind of got in the industry and, you know, I worked for realtor.com and worked for move Inc and had to be that corporate guy and had to wear the tie and the jacket. And, and, and I liked it. I got my first few thousand dollar suits, you know, looked great. But once I kind of got into a little bit more freedom as far as just not working for anyone else, working for myself, you know, I didn't ever see anybody in this industry cussing publicly. Right. I didn't. We cuss on our show. I didn't right. see anybody in this industry wearing jeans and T-shirts and tennis shoes on stage. Now I do. I didn't see anybody in this industry drinking on the air, drinking <laughs> alcohol publicly like we all know a lot of realtors like to drink we all know everybody cusses we all know everybody would rather wear shoes i just said fuck it i'm gonna do it and so that for us is a differentiator now what i think you're really asking about is what are some of the marketing tactics right sure. but you yeah. mentioned my book david do you realize how much of a differentiator it is that i'm a best-selling author usa today featured in forbes and fortune i'm not even 40 dude I'm freaking young. You know what I'm saying? And right. so I saw Gary Keller had a book and I, I looked at his books. I studied his books. I saw Stefan Swanepoel's books. And so another thing that's different about me is I'm, I'm a little bit younger than a lot right. of the other coaches and a lot of the other gurus in the industry. Right. And, and, and But I never looked at that as a flaw. I looked at that as a feature. You know what I mean? I looked at that as like I, I, I have a knowledge of new media. I love technology. I'm not saying don't use it. I'm saying use it all day. I'm not saying stay off Facebook. I'm saying run ads. I, I'm not saying technology is not going to help you. I'm saying technology can 10X your business, Grant Cardone style, if you right. use it right. So, you know, there's a lot of things different about me. I mean, look at my hair, man. Jesus. What <laughs> say? Like, I, I'm just not trying to fit into the industry. I'm seeing if the industry wants to fit into me. And I'm cool with that. And a lot of people, they don't. But man, a lot of people, they're attracted to it. I think they were ready for a little bit of realness. I think they were ready for a little bit less fakeness. And like, you know, the other thing, David, that I do this different is I give away everything I know. How many right. seminars have you been in your career where you actually didn't get any good advice unless you bought the course at the end? Absolutely. How, how, you see what I'm saying? So like Absolutely. actually the fact that my book actually has all the tips and tricks without buying my course, that's different. I mean, I could keep going, but I, I think there's a lot of things that are different about the way we're approaching our personal brand, our business, the way we work with our customers. But those are the first few that come to mind. Absolutely. I mean, I, OK, so full disclosure, Chris, I'm wearing this because I have an event to go to as soon right. as we're done. That's the only reason. <laughs> I was not making fun of you my whole time. I know, I know. Who are you? And you know what I told my guys today? I say sometimes you dress up. Sometimes you dress down, you know what I mean? But like exactly. for me, you know, I just dress down a little bit more. I think I, I think being yourself and being that's called they call that now being authentic, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, and doing what you gotta do and, and uh showing up. I mean, I mean, if you look at anything, there's so many things that we discussed this before. There's so many things that agents refuse to do mm -hmm. um, that's right in front of them. And that's why, you know, a lot of things that we talk about aren't different. They've been mm -hmm. around for years. And it just works. I mean, 